Um, Simon is Simon. I have 28 years. My education background, I have, I'm having, a, I'm holding a bachelor's degree in mass communication. I started my football career in a club called Sparkabs. Then I went to Bright Stars Academy. From Bright Stars, I went to Budoeses. From Budoeses, then I I went to Kampala University where I I had a bachelor's degree in mass communication. So then I went to Police FC, that's Super League. So I played there for a year. Then my second year was in Bright Stars for two seasons. Then I went to Maroons. So before going to Maroons, I was first runners up in Uganda Cup. So I'm holding a silver medal for Uganda Cup. Here you call it Peace Cup, which yeah. you took. So in, in Uganda, it's called Uganda Cup. So I'm a first runners up. And so then I went to Maroons. Maroons wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad team because I managed to collect seven man of the matches, three player of the month. So that was my up to now I'm in Chigali at Sharon Sport. What did you do? Because we saw you in the three uh, among the best players in, in Ugandan league, uh, but your club wasn't performing that, that good because we, we didn't see them in the uh, uh, title challengers, title contenders. What did you do to be individually best performer uh, the time your, your club is not good performing? It's rare to find it that a goalkeeper to be in each or any single game to be man of the match. It means that you work hard. lot. That means individual brilliance. Eh? For forwards, it, it's an individual brilliance, but for a goalkeeper, good saves. And starting distributions, game, the game management for the team, it starts with me. So that's why I was very crucial in our team to maintain the sixth position mm. as Maroons FC. Uh, did you play for Cranes? If no, what's the plan? No, absolutely. I didn't play for Cranes, but most of the times I was someone called for... Listen, in 20, 2019, 2020, I was among those players who were in the qualifier, World Cup qualifier. Yeah. With those of Watenga, because Onyango had stepped down, so they wanted to invite those, the young players, those of me, Alionzi, Lukwago. So that was the issue. What's the plan now? The plan now, me, to maintain my Uganda national team to be called up here to maintain my number one position in one sport. The reason as to why I'm here to make Lion Sport one of the big teams, though it's big, but to be more big and more competitive. So that's why I came to Lion Sport to, to lift Lion Sport and me as well. Mm. Uh, tell us about the contract, how long is it? Uh, tell us about everything. The contract so far, I have one year here, one season. I wish I'm going to work hard, hand in hand, with the Lion Sport so that I may get better deals or they retain me here. Mm. So that's my achievement as a player. Mm -hmm. yeah. before, before signing for Rayon Sport, before deciding to come in Rwanda, before crossing the border, flying from Uganda to, to Rwanda, did you talk to the fellow Ugandan players who, plays, who play in Rwanda, especially in Rayon Sport, because we have Joachim Ojera and uh, Musa Eseni? Absolutely, I have, because you can't go in a team or you can't go somewhere without consulting any of those people who are in those country. So I consulted Joachim Oja. So he told me good things, challenging things. So as a player, I have to decide. How did he describe Rayon Paul in few words? Hospitality is was number one. And they treat you like a family. 